Welcome to Adtran University Show Me Video Series. In this video, I'll show you the minimum configuration required to create and advertise an SSID. To demonstrate the minimum VWLAN configuration required for BlueSocket access points to advertise SSIDs and allow client connectivity, the following assumptions are made. First, VWLAN, whether it's virtual or appliance, it's up and running with IP connectivity. Next, the blue socket access points are communicating with VWLAN. And then last, an AP license file is available for the blue socket access points. Documents are available in the AdTrans support community for each one of these topics. Once VWLAN is on the network and the access points are communicating with VWLAN, these are the minimum steps to allow APs to advertise SSIDs. Let's walk through these steps. To access the management interface of VWLAN, open a browser and then type in https colon backslash backslash the IP address of VWLAN colon 3000. This is a new VWLAN installation, so everything's at defaults. The default username is root at adtran.com and the default password is blue blue. Since VWLAN is default, there are a couple platform tasks that need to be ran. One is changing the default password, and then the other is loading AP firmware. We're going to concentrate on advertising SSIDs right now, though. So first, let's check the status of the AP licenses. Go to Configuration tab, Wireless, and then AP licenses. Right now, I have two APs that are communicating with VWLAN, but they're not licensed. And you can see that with the None option in the VWLAN license column. And then you also see that they are up. So they're communicating, but they're not licensed. Even though the VWLAN license is free, the AP still needs to be licensed to enable the correct regulatory domain settings based on your region. So I'm going to select Upload AP License, go ahead and browse, choose the AP license that was sent to you or that you generated. Go ahead and choose the domain that you want to assign this license to and then click Upload License. When APs are first licensed and assigned to a domain, they'll go through a channel scanning process to learn about the RF environment. From the information learned, VWLAN will assign a channel and a transmit power to each one of the APs. So next, let's create the SSID. Navigate to the Configuration tab, Wireless, and then SSIDs. And then click Create SSID. I'm going to name this SSID Global Training. Since we're focusing on the minimum steps right now, I'll leave the next two settings at default. I want the SSID broadcasted, and I want multicast traffic converted to unicast traffic so that it's transmitted at the normal data rates. For authentication, you can choose between Open System, Shared Key or WEP, and then WPA and WPA2. For WPA and WPA2, you have both the enterprise and the personal method. The enterprise option for WPA and WPA2 requires a pre-configured 802.1x authentication server. The pre-share key option requires a shared secret. So I'm going to use WPA2 with pre-share key, and then I'll use AES as my cipher or encryption method. For captive portal purposes, you can create your own completely customizable login form and then assign it to this SSID. A VWLAN role defines where a client will end up on the network once they authenticate, what they have access to, and then how much bandwidth they have access to. There are three roles by default with VWLAN. One is the unregistered role. The unregistered role is a special role that's used when you want to redirect users to a captive portal. So that option is used hand in hand with the login form above. The guest role allows internet traffic outbound only, and it limits clients to one megabit per second, both inbound and outbound. The allow all role allows inbound traffic and outbound traffic, and then it doesn't rate limit any traffic. So that's the role that we're gonna choose for this SSID. Go ahead and enter your pre-share key. And then only clients that know this pre-share key will be able to connect. So let's create a guest SSID option. So I'm just going to click create. We'll call this one guest on the bar GT. 
global training. I will leave this one open, authentication, and then I'll set the role to guest. VWLAN uses AP templates to assign common settings to multiple APs. So we'll go to the configuration tab, wireless, and then AP templates. Note there is a default AP template named default. By default, all APs use the default template. So one thought here is you don't have to tell your normal APs to use this template. It's the default. If you have groups of APs where you want to advertise other SSIDs or do something different, you can create another template for those APs. So I'll just click to edit the default AP template. There are numerous settings that can be changed in an AP template, such as the password, the time zone for your APs, the firmware that you want your APs to use. There are per radio settings, so you have your 2.4 radio and your 5 gigahertz radio settings. But all I want to change right now is I want to advertise my new SSIDs. So I'm going to scroll down near the bottom. Notice I have the SSID value for my 2.4 radio. So I'm going to add global training and I'll add the guest SSID for the 2.4 radio. And then I'll do the same thing for the 5 gig radio. I'll just click add all. And then I'm going to update my AP template. Anytime you make changes to an AP template that the APs are using, the config needs to be pushed to the APs. Notice that in the upper right hand corner, a domain task was created to remind you that, hey, you need to apply the config to the APs. Before we apply the config to the APs, let's look at the status of the APs first. One way you can get to the AP status menu is the top of your screen, just click APs, and it takes you to the AP status menu, or go to the status tab and then select access points. Notice we'll see our AP, we'll see the MAC address of the AP, the serial number, IP address, firmware of the AP, what channels and power setting the AP is currently using. But the main thing I wanted you to see here is the status is modified. Modified means the config of the AP doesn't match the config of VWLAN. So let's go back to domain task to apply that config to the AP. If we go back to the status menu, let's see what's going on. Status, access points. Notice now they're in the updating state. So remember they were modified, but now they're updating. And what updating means is they look back to VWLAN, they saw that there was a configuration change, and they're loading that new configuration. And what we expect to see when it's done is these APs will be up to date and ready to go. Notice that the two APs are now up to date. Up to date means the AP is communicating with VWLAN and its configuration matches the VWLAN config. It's up to date. That completes SSID configuration, but let's verify that it works. To verify, I'm going to associate two different clients to each one of the SSIDs. To verify or troubleshoot clients, click the client shortcut at the top of the screen. Notice now I have two clients connected or go to the status tab and select the clients menu. Here you can see the MAC address of the client, IP address of the client, the device type, what its OS is, who owns it, host name if that's available, manufacturer, of course status, is it active or not, the type of authentication, is it SSID authentication, is it 8021X, is it device authentication, what role they're assigned to, so notice I've got an allow all role and a guest role, the network that they're on, the AP name, API address, the SSID they connect to, what radio, and you'll see the usage over time of these particular clients. So that was SSID configuration and verification. Additional resources can be found in the AdTran support community. Thanks for watching the AdTran University Show Me video series.